What's up everybody? I'm Chris from Gaming Overwatch and welcome back to Maze. Um, yeah, last time we left off that little trolley uh, drove his way into that office. No idea what's in there, but we'll see. The screens. Okay, uh, let's see what we might be missing. Okay. <laughs> A loose... Great, the bloody helps you won't notice. Let's see if there's anything else we can do here aside from the oh, okay. Written by Ted, this notice outlines that the isolated subject in a containment room cannot absolutely positive under any circumstance and be spoke be spoken to by staff under pain of being called an idiot for several months and likely fired. Not being called an idiot, no. Oh, hey. Bob Oh wait, that's the door that we just bumped into the fucking wall. That's a heavy trolley. It packs that much of a punch. So, um, you're probably gonna think this is stupid, but you can't even cross a threshold of a door. Yes, of course, let it go. Let it always go. Only good I saw in your stupid idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this stupid thing? This place is one big joke. Well, Vlade not laughing. The vice pay on Pesniu. What is stupid giant crane doing here? Pointless. Vlade has to <coughs> do everything. Stupid American garbage. Chitanya oh, Veselo. Oh. What? Is that it? Ding? That means nothing. Uh, this whole place makes no sense! Ha! I got you now! Oh, good. Idiot planted ugly face is here again. Oh! You cretin! I will make you pay for your continued insolence! How will dumb ugly plant do that? By... Uh, by... So boy, ow, so many, why are you always biting? Why are these plants always so difficult? Ow, stupid idiot! Oh, that was very rude. Yes, quite. <laughs> what an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat. It's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favourite place, that punishments room. Oh, yes, so tacky. If you want your stupid, mean pet back, you'll have to come and get it. I think <coughs> you punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. After that, we'll take another nap. What a great idea. Uh. Oh, hey, there's a coin. Tube buck. Oh. Another one of Bob's money-making ideas, the tube buck, was required for anyone who wanted to use the pneumatic tube on this level. The cost of making one tube buck was more than Bob charged for them, because Bob didn't realize that red numbers on a ledger were negative. Wow. Okay. So, uh, we lost Vladi for a while. I can't say I'm not a little relieved. His shtick was getting a little old. Everything is stupid. But let's see what that whole ding was, because... Did we open this before? I don't think we did. Contingency plan. Looks like steps to initiate contingency plan Omega upon abandonment of the facility. It involves, in no particular order, bringing the facility to full power, raising the four field hooks, and initiating the sequence via the black box, via the black box, along with coordinates and an arrow pointing to the sun. There are equations and notes written in orange pen that suggest there is a way to alter the trajectory towards Mars. Mars? Is this whole facility being <laughs> sent to Mars? I'm on 66 of all the um, folio items. I hope I'll get every one of them. Okay, let's see. Mm, coin. I think uh, I think this beckons me. Let's see where this leads. Hey. 
Probably should be going left or right. Cordially. Oh, wait, huh? Hi, Bob. Nothing you do surprises me anymore, so I'm going to give you some re constructive feedback on punishments, which is, I'm assuming, what you spent the last of the facility money on. First, this is the stupidest name I can think of for this place. Second, everyone will be injured getting here because of that idiotic pneumatic tube. Third, there is no one left here to pay for anything because we fired everyone, you incompetent louse. Cordially, Ted. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. Punishment. Okay. I'm guessing I need to step into the light. Why is this a dense... Okay, never mind. We'll see. Welcome. To your worst nightmare! Disco? Looking for your pet? Don't wait! You have fallen right into my trap! It will cause you unbearable suffering! <coughs> Not so bad. Shut up! But you won't be suffering alone! Say hello to your partner! Now go on, say hello. Don't keep it waiting, you cretins. That would be extremely rude. Welcome, brother! Did you break the big ring? That's why I'm here. I locked myself in a closet and couldn't get out. I stared at a wall for 63 days. It's really not that bad here, brother, aside from the nonstop dancing and spiral into insanity. I didn't do anything wrong. I just love dancing. If your feeble mind could comprehend such things, you might be thinking, why do these freaks keep calling me brother? Why, oh why, do I feel some kind of kinship with them? Why am I such a dumb... Stupid, stupid thing. Well, I can't answer that last part. But if you'll kindly stand still, I have something truly wonderful to show you. Mitchell, something. Oh wait, I'm a, I'm a. Yes, yes, you are one of them. <laughs> one more in a long line of misguided failures. On whom our beloved queen continues to waste my time. Uh, we're right here. Yeah! Words hurt! Shut up! You stupid! Is it? No wonder that I suffer so surrounded by cretins and imbeciles and more stupid than all five? I should be the one leading our people to glory, to the vengeance we deserve against those fleshy demons that imprisoned us! Not any of you, and not that, that red faced harpy! Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Must remember that. It's not that good. Quiet. <laughs> now that you are finally aware of your true nature, your glorious eternal suffering awaits. You are an absolute failure like the rest and will remain here dancing for all time. Ha <laughs> ha. I disagree. <laughs> it's our queen. She is free. Hey. She has returned. Who is that? Does she dance? It completed its tasks, did it not? It succeeded where the rest had failed, did it not? Is it true? Brother, is it Why so? have we stopped dancing? It barely succeeded, your grace, and should not be worthy of the honor it of- It has earned its place on our journey. It is our champion. But, but, but your majesty- Silence! Yet again, your incompetence becomes a burden on us. Yet again, we must wonder why it is that we tolerate your servitude. But, but Need I remind you of the consequences? Need I remind you of your last penance? Oh, she's talking about the room, isn't she? Oh, the terrifying one with all the pictures of Professor Poppycorn, the devourer. Yes. I like that room. No, honey. Anything but that. Then release it and its companion and get out of our sight. Yes. Your majesty. You and your thing are free to leave. Join us at our seat of power with haste. What just happened? A tormentor is gone! So is our queen. Does that mean we can leave? Let's dance! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Dancing! That was very stupid. Yeah. It was kind of. So you're a scarecrow, why not? Uh, fair. Let's um, see what this is. 
Plagued by the unprecedented success of the first two books, and completely disinterested author hoped to deter shoppers by revealing the killer in the book title. The detective did it. The novel itself is a 300-page diatribe about how the author hates mystery novels the movie rights were sold for a record amount. Wow. Ah, oh, he's a good businessman, not a good author. Can't have everything. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder if I'll get older. Folio items. Cover art for the Founders album, which only included one song and the secret bonus track in a format that wasn't widely available at the time of distribution. The art consists of the only things they could agree upon, a simple geometric shape with two colors. Sometimes simplicity is the best way to go, man. Okay, let's see. You get stuck on everything, don't you? What's this? Hiya, Ted! Just a heads up, I'm initiating Operation Sub... 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 Cuanium uh, Neverdere. I think it's time to cut our losses. I have no idea what that is. PayPal and activate the contingency plan while that's going on, would you? Need to tie up all the loose ends. Or stalks. Haha. <laughs> You're backstabbing subhuman. You are not leaving without me. Okay, the music is kind of weird. Seems to completely cut out depending on... Yeah. It completely cuts out. That's weird. Somebody want a fucking old English muffin? Wurzel? Or whatever. Um. Oh, let's make a nice. Cool. I think I can get the thumbnail for this episode on there. <laughs> uh, what opened? I don't know that is. Oh wait, this is this is where I entered. This is where I entered. This is not where I'm supposed to be going. This is where I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, Floody. You teleported towards me. Hey, this is a different area. What? How Vladdy supposed to know you did not know you were some stupid straw thing? And who cares if you are? Not matter. You will always be stupid idiot to Vladdy. Nothing changed. Do not look at Vladdy like that. You look stupid. Are we still comrades? Good. I am glad we had this talk. Come on, idiot straw thing. Let's go see what stupid plant wants. Huh. Hey, ain't so bad. Let's see. Barn, lots of hats, okay. More records, all the records. Corn oil. That looks top notch, extremely affecting. Mm, thank you. What's this? The fuck is this? I know I I uh, I should probably want to start the scripted sequence there. Oh, you could have placed those a little bit more, like not that far ahead. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Cool. I guess you looked very stupid up there, idiot. Okay. 
That's kind of necessary. All right, let's do it. We were right to place our faith in you. Thanks to you, our journey is nearly at hand. Kneel before us. All right. I dub thee <laughs> our knight. Well done. Our protector. Good job. Our champion. I'm getting a bit sore. Subjects, let us make our final preparations. Absolutely, your grace. In fact, we've already begun. What? What do you mean? We ordered pizza. Yeah. We were famished. How did you... That phone right there. The man was very helpful and a bit confused. Oh, no. Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. Do you think they added the extra pepperoni? Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. <coughs> I'm just hoping they sprinkled some old books on top. I like those. No, that costs extra. Anything? No, sir. No response. What in the goddamn hell? Didn't we blow that place up years ago? Apparently not, sir. Well, how about we do a job then? Full drone strike. Wipe that dead gum place off the map. Oh, dear. Sir. Stupid American cowboys. I hope they didn't put any pineapple on it. Our influence has waned through our age of imprisonment. Our subjects never acted so when we were free to guide them. We feared this day would come. And come it has. Our day of reckoning. The day our captors would return to end us. And we were so Close. So close to starting our journey. Why not blow up stupid American cowboys first? What are you proposing? That stupid thing outside with the dead man. The life giver. <laughs> but he knows these things. It could work. Yes. Yes, it could. It's a fitting choice. Gave us life and defeated our sworn adversary. Now it will be our ultimate salvation. But how do we attract our enemy's attention? We could dance. Really? I understand we can be a little silly at times, but seriously, this is out of the question. So, what? Bloody like to dance? Is that so stupid? No, <laughs> it is not. Dance we shall. I did not think you were concerned with our flight. Bloody thinks idiot plans not so bad, and he does not like being pushed around by stupid American cowboys. What a nice helicopter. Yes, very polite. Even if it never gave us a ride. It would be a low blow. Oh, I love you too. Focus, subjects. Focus. To our most trusted charges, we ask you to assist our champion and the little one. The rest of our subjects join me in preparing for our journey. Our final test is at hand. Some of you may not survive. In fact, a great deal of you will likely perish. But know that your sacrifices today will mark a new era for our people as we defend our adopted home and finally make way to the promised land. Hmm. Subjects, onward! Champion, it is to you now. This is what you were meant for. Protect us. Save us. A fine speech. What was the first part she said about perishing? I don't remember. Neither do I. <laughs> okay. Come on, idiot straw friend. Do not be stupid. We have work to do. They up their comedy in there. <laughs> In the, in the last, or I, what I think is the last bit of the game. A guide to British accent. <laughs> a well-worn guide to the fanciest British accents you can imitate. Complete with diagrams on how to position your jaw for each syllable. It is 400 pages long and includes as bonus an essay on how to properly cue. <laughs> Another one of Bob's notorious boomboxes. The corn kept a few of these so they could play their favorite song whenever they liked, which was all the time. Okay. So 
we got that. Another one of Bob's notorious boombox. Oh, wait, no, that's. <laughs> I'm dumb. A farewell letter written in orange pen, which seems to be directed at the corn. It contains extremely kind words of encouragement. Words like, listen to your queen, use a contingency plan, and rely on humor to survive. Also contains instruction on how to recalibrate a navigational computer. Ends with the phrase, my prized creations, I believe in you all. Page. Hmm. Interesting. Nice gnome. So, uh, I think we're going to continue uh, this in the next episode, which I, it might very well be the last episode of the game. So, if you like this episode, please click the like button and subscribe to Gaming Overwatch for more gaming goodness. And remember, guys, stay watchful. Break it down.